All right, Canada, I'm here with Kadre Gray from Laurentian University men's basketball team, and he is up for this year's BLG Award for U Sports Athlete of the Year. He's originally from Toronto, Ontario, and he's studying health promotions at Laurentian University. So how's it going, Kadri? Not too bad, just hanging out. <laughs> Good. So you've had quite a successful couple years there at Laurentian. You uh, won Rookie of the Year last year, and you were named Men's Basketball Player of the Year this year. So what does it mean to you to be nominated for the BLG Awards for U Sports Athlete of the Year after just two seasons? Wow. Um, I think it means a whole lot. Um, I think, first off, like for myself, I, I think this, this nomination is bigger than me. Um, and I think, I, I grew up in Toronto, so you know, I think about my neighborhood, I think about the communities I've touched on my way here, and, you know, I think in my head, you know, this, this nomination represents, you know, the people in my community, you know, all the future, future kids, you know, growing up, like, hopefully I set an example for them, and I just, I feel like, and I hope that, you know, kids can feel the same way I felt, like, that they can step up and, you know, chase their dreams. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like, Sorry? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's just the gist of it, yeah. Awesome. And coming out of high school, you were also a strong track and field athlete and were recruited for both sports after competing at both provincial and national championships. So what did you enjoy most about being a, a dual athlete, and why did you ultimately decide to pursue basketball at uh, the post-secondary level? Well, I think just being a dual athlete, like, you know, I think it teaches you both spectrums of both sides, um, you know, doing track and field. I learned how to mentally pre prepare for just a solo event, so I had to rely on myself. And I think in that, I learned a lot. Um, but also on the basketball side of it, like, you rely on your teammates. You know, teamwork is the biggest thing. I developed leadership and all those all those skills. So I learned both sides of it, and now, you know, being on a team setting, because I've ended up selecting basketball because it's my first love. And I think just all of that together, is, it's prepared me mentally as a better athlete, but a better person too and you know, within all of that I think I've just learned how to use use everything that I've learned in my experiences to help my teammates become better and you know I, like I always say basketball is going to come to an end one day but <laughs> the person that you are is going to go on and live so that's the most important thing. Definitely and I know family and friends mean a lot to you so you were very close to your older brother as well and some friends from back home moved to Sundry with you so how have they made an impact on your basketball career? I learned basketball from and you know playing in the backyard and you know not just him but my family in general like my mom my dad and my two sisters you know we just they always motivated me to play basketball and you know to push me no matter what the circumstance was you know whether I was doing good or if it was going bad you know they pushed me to make sure that I did better and then right outside of my family was my three closest friends you know Nasir, Janush, Chris they they knew me as a person, and that's what I think I like, I like most about them, because outside of basketball, when that's all done, they know me. Yeah. I, you know, you're appreciative of that. Like, there's not many people like that in the world, you know? Um, but, like you said, coming up to Sudbury, you know, that's a funny story in itself. Tell um, it. And Eddie uh, <laughs> and Josie. Um, you know, Josie has spent, now, I think, now six years with playing basketball. Wow. So it's been quite a journey. And, like, Eddie, if she's just my rock. You know, she knows me as a person, and she helps me whenever I need her to. And I think, not, like, that's just my person. That's my person. And um, I think our recruitment trip, we came up um, with, we came up as a family. I can tell okay. you We came up, and we met Coach Sean Swords. And I think we left that, we left that recruiting trip just feeling like, that is the guy for us, you know, he's such an amazing person, um, you know, he's, I think he knew, he knew basketball, and we accepted that, but outside of basketball, he was just a caring person, which, like, I didn't feel with any other coach, Yeah. and, you know, that led on, like, so we finally committed here, like, you know, it started as a recruitment trip for just Josie, but we ended, we ended up all coming here, That's as a awesome. family, and, like, those are my people, like, I think, without them, I don't know where I would be. Yeah. So, and then we came here and I met some awesome teammates. Um, you know, just some people that, like, I made some relationships that I know are going to go beyond basketball. That's you know, awesome. Lita and Theo, you know, just people that I know, like, they know who I am. You know, sometimes you just have that bond with people, and, I, and I've met that here. 
Yeah. So I've had a ton of people on my path here to, to Siberia, and I'm, I'm so grateful for every single one of them. That's awesome. So as a member of Laurentian University's basketball team, you had the opportunity to give back to the city of Sudbury by visiting schools, talking about the importance of education as well as providing literacy programming. So why do you feel it's important to use your platform to preach the importance of education in today's youth? Well, like I said, um, I think, you know, just as an athlete, you know, with the platform like right now that I, I seem to be on, um, <laughs> I think you have the ability to touch like you know, younger kids that are going to be the future one day, right? So if I can go into a school and I can, you know, touch just the mind of one and make that kid change for the better, like, I feel like, you know, I've done a lot, you know, so I feel like that is very important to me, and I, and I was that kid one I was that kid one day, right? So if I can do the same to another, like, that makes me so happy. Um, you know, us as Laurentian, we go out to, we visit many schools, and, you know, statistics show that, you know, students struggle with literacy so i think it's like i think we talked about it all the time as teammates that like if we can just go into the school then you know just take a very little just very what's very little just one day to go in there and to talk to all these kids and just make a change you know why not absolutely and i think that's what it's all about and you know everybody around me understands that and that's what i love about each one each one of them, every one of them that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for, for sitting down with me. We got a, a chance to, to know you a little about her and your story, and it seems like you're you're right at home there in Laurentian, and you're only two seasons in. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much, and all the best at the awards June 4th. Yes, thank you. You're welcome.